Okay, so we're going to review um, our lesson from yesterday, which was dividing polynomials. So we're going to review long division and synthetic division. Um, so we're going to do some practice problems in our group. So if you guys could get out your workbooks and a piece of paper, and if you guys could flip to page 39, we are going to work on the problems from page 39 to 42. Okay, in your groups, make sure you guys are showing your work on your piece of paper. I'll write the assignment up on the board. Hey Izzy, did you ask about the party? Yeah, mom said it's fine. Who should we invite tonight? Let's just do an open invite. That sounds like a great idea. Wait, are you guys having a party tonight? Yeah, do you want to go? Open invite? Mm-hmm. I'll send you the info. So you guys down for a party tonight? Yeah, where? It's Nicole 17, but have the invite. Cool, send it to me. Yeah. Do you guys have football mm -hmm. tonight? Maybe a little like after practice. Okay, cool. So would you guys want to go together and just like drive? Sweet. Do you want to pick us up? Sure. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Really, you can sleep. Not bad, not super All right, yeah, for sure. But yeah, just sleep. <laughs> All right, a little bit. Yeah. Can we invite more people? Like, so we need to buy. Mikey? Yeah, send it. Should. Mikey, hey, turn in your hair job. Mm -hmm. Hey, that was cool. It was good. I had a bunch of quizzes, but otherwise it was fine. What do you think you did? Pretty okay. They weren't that hard. Okay. Um, I was hoping I could go to Izzy's house tonight for a party. A party tonight? Yes, please. It's a school night. Yeah, I know. Okay. Who's gonna be there? Um, Paley, Emma, Mikey, a bunch of people. It's Nicole's birthday party. And her parents are gonna be there? Yes. You know the rules. No drinking, no drugs. You know that? I know. And even if there is, you know, I'm not gonna drink or anything. Thank you. All right. I trust you. Thanks. So what'd you get for your birthday? I got shoes, jewelry, and AirPods. Happy birthday, Nicole! Are you sure you're okay with this? I don't want you getting in trouble. I don't think my mom would be okay with it. I think it's fine. I mean, it's my birthday. I mean, I guess. I was pretty fun, right? Yeah, it was really fun. You guys want to keep it going tomorrow? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow yeah. Like school. We have school. School. Not tomorrow. tomorrow. Us drinking. Drink. drinking. No. Tomorrow. No. Tomorrow. No. Yes. Drink. Come on. Tomorrow. I think we can. Do I think we can do it. Let's do this. You two competition versus us two. <laughs> Who can drink the most tomorrow? Let's do it, guys. Yeah. Come on. Right. Cheers. Good morning. Ready? Ready. 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 Go. All right, cool. we'll pick you up in the morning. Tomorrow, Tomorrow morning. Morning. Good. All right, All see right. you tomorrow. I don't really know. I definitely know that I want a long dress and not a short dress. Yeah, nobody for sure. Yeah. What color? Um, I wore black last year to prom, so I definitely don't want to wear a black dress this year. I don't know. I was thinking maybe like a maroon or like a dark blue, like a navy. Just yeah. something like a darker colored dress. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wear hot pink. Oh, you'll definitely stand out in that. I know. <laughs> I haven't worn that to a dance before. Really? Yeah. But don't wear uh, glitter. Oh yeah, my truck last year was full of glitter from your dress. Oopsies. <laughs> Haley, you have to get up. You've been sleeping for like 20 minutes. Not yet. Haley, you're so lazy. Oh wait, how do you feel from last night? Not good. Not good, you're gonna have to get up. Your cup's right there, just... Oh, do you remember the bet we made last night? What bet? 
Are you serious? The one that, like, we're gonna keep drinking this? Come on, we talked about it all last night. Well, I'm not gonna make it. We need to go to Circle Pay or something. I mean, if you want to go to Circle Pay, we can pick up a few drinks. Like, we can, like, mix it. It'll be easier. Good. We have, like, five minutes, and they said they were on their way soon, so... Bro, Andrew, wake up. Come on. Come on, we're late. We already missed first period. We're missing first period, and we gotta still go pick up the girls. Come on, let's go. Is it? Okay, well, I'm going to school. Bye. All right, well, I need your keys because you're grounded. But it's not even that big of a deal. Not a big deal. You said you weren't going to drink, so you are grounded. Well, can you at least give me a ride to school? Nope. You want to be a big kid and drink and not follow rules? And you can walk to school. I'm going to work. But, Mom. You guys still down for the competition? Yeah, like I was talking to Haley about it and we're gonna do it too, but the only thing is we don't really know how we're gonna drink at school. Yeah, like I still have such a bad headache from last night. Like there's no way I can take straight alcohol. Just mix the drinks with the polar pops. I mean, like I haven't stopped drinking, so let's keep going. Yeah, here you go. Pass it back. Oh. Pass it back. Yes, Let me try it when you guys are done mixing it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let me stop. Here, let's mix it. Ooh. <laughs> Hey Miranda, do you mind dropping me off at AG? Oh yeah, no problem. Thank you. Do you have floral? Yeah. I'm so nervous for graduation. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. me too. I'll be so scared. Dude, I have to speak. Can you imagine? I could not do that. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Did you what? finish that? We're so behind. Oh shoot, I forgot to do a lit assignment, guys. I need to do it. Oh my god, isn't that Eileen? That is Eileen. Wait, they're gonna hit her. Miranda, Miranda! Ha <laughs> ha 
911, state emergency. <laughs> this is an accident at Arco High School. It's really bad. Okay, what's, uh, what's the address of the school? 2065 to school. Okay, is the accident right in front of the school on Temesco? Yes, in the street. How many cars are involved? There's two and there's a, there's a girl on the ground. <laughs> She's really bad. <laughs> My friend won't wake up. Okay, can you tell if the girl's breathing that's out on the car? I can't tell. Okay, what's your name? <laughs> My name's Miranda Ayers. Okay, we have help on the way, okay, Miranda? Andrew! Andrew! Haley! Hey! Hey! Haley! Haley, wake up! Andrew! Haley, please wake up! Andrew, wake up! Cameron is not waking up! What happened? No, don't worry about it, please. What please. happened? Wake up! Andrew, wake Andrew. up! Hey. Andrew, wake up! Hey. Hey. Andrew, please, I can't move! I can't move! Help <laughs> me! Please help me, why can't you? Haley. Haley. I lost the pulse! Let's go code three to Corona! Close this facility! Dr. Boyd, we need a doctor and two, please. Dr. Boyd, we have a 17-year-old female who is in the back seat, unrestrained, uh, T-boned. She uh, lost pulses on scene, then we got her back, and she's had about a thousand cc blood loss. We were coming back in. She made a cc and don't have a pulse. She's 
she's been down about 20 minutes. Hey, Ellie. Hey, Ellie, you can go. I don't think we can do anything. Hey, Ellie. Hey, Ellie. Mom, I'm sorry. It's going to be right now. You know the rules. No drinking, no drugs. No I know. And even if there is, you know, I'm not gonna drink or anything. Alright, I trust you. Do not follow rules. You can walk to school. I'm going to work. But mom! Wait, they're gonna fire Miranda right Miranda! Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, All right, we are here for sentencing in People versus Cameron Allen Warchuk. Uh, people, are you ready? People are ready. And defense? This was a very long and very sad trial. Uh, when you're dealing with the death of three young people and the, uh, the fourth who is a quadriplegic, this is evidenced by the death of Eileen Arleo Vega. Um, she was in the crosswalk. She was killed instantly when your car hit her. She had no chance. Person versus vehicle. If we just stopped there, just the pedestrian, this case would be tragic. But it didn't end there, did it? We have it go farther. After you hit Eileen, you hit another car and you kill both of your passengers. Now we got three deaths. Andrew Madrigal was in the front passenger seat at the time of the impact. 
he didn't survive, you know that. Andrew was an honor student. He was an athlete. He'll never have the opportunity to play collegiate football or meet his future brother, Grayson, who is due in March. But the case doesn't end there, does it? Because Haley Friedel was also in your car. She was in the back seat. She's survived by her mother, Laura, her father, David, and her younger brother, Hunter. The global loss does not end in your car or with the pedestrian. You hit Emma's car, Emma Nante, and she's now a quadriplegic. This is a girl who will never walk again. She is a softball player. She'll never ever play softball again. I don't know if she'll be able to hold a softball again. And that was her, that was her love, playing softball, just like yours is playing football, just like Andrew's was playing football. And you've wiped that off the map. She'll never be able to play again. For count one, a violation of Penal Code Section 191.5, the gross vehicular manslaughter while intoxicated for the death of Eileen, 10 years. Count two, for Penal Code Section 191.5, again, gross vehicular manslaughter while intoxicated for the death of Andrew, I'm sentencing you to one-third the midterm consecutive of two years. For count three, a violation of Penal Code Section 191.5, gross vehicular manslaughter while intoxicated for the death of Haley Friedel, one-third the midterm for two years. For count four, violation of vehicle code section 23153A, injury while intoxicated in an accident for the injury to Emma Nautic, one-third the midterm or eight months, and for the gross bodily injury in that charge, one-third of three years or one year. Total sentence, 15 years, eight months. 